Alright, yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sidi, also known as Antonio. I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on Black Ops 2 Plutonium on how to record it if you do have a weak PC. Uh, I found myself with this problem yesterday where I was trying to record game footage and it just wasn't working. It would lag or freeze and that was me streaming in OBS. I have a really weak PC so when I stream in OBS, even 30 frames per second, it still completely destroys my footage. I even went down to 10 frames per second in OBS and it didn't work. Um, OBS can drain your GPU or CPU on your laptop. Uh, I record off a laptop if you guys didn't know. So this video is gonna be to help anybody who wants to make content or just doesn't wanna lose any you know, footage or trick shots that they hit in game because I lost my first shot that I hit on plutonium and I know a lot of other people are going through this trouble as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple way to actually be able to record your footage and this way that you record your footage also doesn't drain your PC a lot either. It actually is very easy on your PC so it won't ruin the actual in-game experience. It won't cause you to lag and stuff because I found myself when I opened OBS to record in Plutonium while I was playing, it would absolutely destroy my gameplay but when I found this like other alternative way to record, it actually kept it kind of chill. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so basically when you have plutonium open, you're going to want to hit two keys. But before we actually get into how you do this tutorial, you have to have Windows 10 in order to do this. So if you do not have Windows 10, you will not be able to do this. I do apologize for that, man. I don't know how to do it on a Mac or anything like that. I actually have a Windows 10. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do in order to get this tutorial is you're going to have to hit two key hot keys on your computer in order to pull up the menu. I can't show you on screen because it won't pop up since I'm already screen recording plutonium just to show you guys that this method does work, but maybe I'll show you guys like some phone footage so you guys can see what actually pops up when you do what I'm about to tell you. So basically you have to hit the Windows key and G and then a little menu will pop up on your right hand side of the screen basically asking you if the footage is a game. It'll basically ask you if this is a game. And you're gonna wanna hit yes, you're gonna wanna hit um, the checkbox yes, because once you do that, that allows your PC to read that footage as a game, which allows you to, to screen record the actual game footage because it'll be doing it through the quote unquote Xbox app. So once you do that, uh, and you hit yes, there will pop up a little bar on the bottom of your screen and it'll have the option to turn on face cam, open up your mic or record your game footage. So for people who have weak PCs like I, and if you're on this tutorial for that reason, I highly don't recommend uh, turning on face cam just because it could freeze the footage or mess up or be out of sync. So your best bet is to actually just record the footage. You can actually have your mic on as well too. It shouldn't affect it at all, but uh, at least recording the game footage, you know, is what you want to stick with. So once you're able to do that, you're gonna wanna hit the record button. So what's gonna happen after that is on the top right hand side of your screen, there will pop up a little menu and it's gonna have the live recording sign. It's gonna be like a little red dot. It's gonna have the timestamp of how long you've been recording. It'll have the stop button and then it'll have this little button to where you wanna move that little task bar around on your screen. The beautiful thing about that, like I said, is that little task bar won't pop up on your game footage. It literally only captures your PC. So like anything like that task bar or notification won't pop up on your gameplay it's just going to strictly record your gameplay as you guys can see in the background so uh, basically once you want to stop you can hit the stop button and it's going to save into your documents or something like that or in your video files because it is a direct video file from the PC it's literally just screen recording your PC the only downside to this method is that it will save the uh, footage in 30 frames per second but honestly if you're running a weak PC I don't even think you could record in 60 frames per second uh, because even if you're trying to an OBS I mean it, it's going to run up your PC as I said earlier in the video and uh, yeah so you're basically when we record in 30 FPS, but the beautiful thing about that is it's not like any kind of blurry 30 FPS. It actually looks like it's in 60 frames per second when you're doing this method because, uh, you know, if you're running the game in 60 on you know, your PC or even 30 though. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you are probably gonna run it in 30 if you're watching this video because uh, your footage just lags or freezes or your game crashes a lot, then uh, yeah, that's what you're gonna be running it in. But for the most part, it keeps everything really like smooth and simple and uh, it, it doesn't look bad. It makes the graphics look decent. So yeah, that's pretty much the method for how to record without using OBS. Only if you have Windows 10, you can do this method on Plutonium. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do more tutorials like this. Make sure to smack a like if you guys did enjoy this tutorial and if you guys did find this helpful if you guys have any questions make sure to let me know in the comment section below but until then i'll catch you guys on the next one be your boy Sidey. peace